What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. So today we're going to be talking about the recently new and amazing drip market for Genshin 5.1. We have our brand new 5 star Geo character Zillanen. Now she is going to be amazing um, and we already know just from character designs she looks fabulous she is basically their sister at this point and she's actually a blacksmith from the information to the right that she actually does manufacture and forge items so that is really cool and I'd love to see how her playstyle works. I have a feeling, just a feeling, she has something to do with a panther, or should we say a jaguar? Because um, at the moment, that's what her entire character design is literally made around being a tigress, or, or should we say, like, I don't even know if it's a tigress, uh, a leopard. I personally think it's a leopard more than a jaguar. I don't know why I said that. It just. There's a load of different uh, felines and different big cats within that uh, whole cat group. Um, but regardless, she looks amazing. I love the lightning bolts on her shoulders, the fur, the jacket, the different braids in her hair. I love the fact that she's got like, she's got a little gap, like not on her ass cheek, but like in her pants, she's got a little bit of a hole for her tail because her tail is massive. Um, I'm not gonna lie, she just looks really great. Now, what we have right now in the meta and just in the game, I shouldn't have said meta, but as a whole, just in the game for Geo, we have Geo supports, we've got Geo sub DPSs, and we also have Geo DPSs. Now, the only Geo DPSs that I can personally speak of and think of that we have in the game is that we have ourselves Navia who is the most recent Geo DPS she is a front loaded DPS she like has a very small attack window but she deals a lot of damage and we also have Arataki Ito now the thing is Arataki Ito isn't a crazy Geo DPS he's not terrible but he's not on terms as Navia if that makes sense um, we have Zhongli as a support, but also can be made as a DPS if you have made him into a hybrid DPS, that is possible. Um, we have Chiori, she is a sub DPS and support because of her mechanic to be able to switch different characters, which is really fun and useful for Navia. We have Albedo, who is technically the budget version of Chiori. Um, but Albedo is a sub DPS and support as he can help with elemental mastery and with crystallizing. We also have ourselves um, the four stars in the game, Ning Wong, Yunjin, etc, etc. And we also have a four star Kachina who's going to be releasing at the beginning of 5.0 and she'll be available during the story quest as we complete the Natlan story quest, Act 1 and Act 2. Now, what we don't have, what we don't have is a Geo support who shreds resistance. Now, that is one thing we do not have. That is what I have to say. We, You might be like, well, we have artifacts that shred resistance. We got Zhongli, his pillar shreds resistance. Yeah, his pillar shreds resistance when you have the archaic Petric on him. Like, you have artifact sets that help shred resistance, but you don't have a character themselves. Technically, you don't, we don't have a Geo Kazua. We have a Pyro Shredder who shreds Pyro and Electro that's Ch uh, Chevreus. We have Kazwa, of course. We've got Farazan who shreds Anemo um, resistance. We don't have a Geo Shredder. We don't have a Geo archetype in the game or unit who shreds Geo resistance as well as other elemental resistances in the game. We don't. One specific character. Because we know that Geo, when it comes to crystallizing, you either have Electro Crystallize, Pyro, Hydro, Cryo, you know, all those different types of elemental reactions. We don't have one unique for Geo. In my opinion, uh, well, to my knowledge, should we say, you can correct me all you want in the comments down below. What I think Zillanen is going to be, is I think she is going to be our Shredder. I think she's going to be our sub-DPS 
supporter, but she's going to be shredding loads of damage and shredding resistance. No, I didn't mean shred loads of damage, but you know what I meant. Go along those lines of shredding resistance and elemental resistance and buffing. I think that's who she's going to do. That's what she's going to be. That's the role she's going to play. Because as you can see, she also kind of works with Mavuika just to the side. Um, it, it, it's kind of fun to see how she's going to work within the game. I don't know if her Night Soul ability is going to be turning into an actual spirit animal. That would be wicked, but who knows? But we know that she's going to be coming out in 5.1. So hopefully she delivers because I am so excited to get her. I don't know what sword uh, she uses. I don't know what claymore she uses. I don't know what catalyst. I don't know what bow. I don't know what spear. I mean, I don't know. I don't know anything. All I know is that she's Geo, she's sick, I mean, she's amazing, um, she looks brilliant, and I'm looking forward to seeing her gameplay. Uh, as much as I'd like her to be a little bit darker, but it is what it is, bro. Genshin, they have moved past that, and I'm just going to enjoy the characters for who they are. If they can make them darker, it is what it is, but I'm not going to make that the entire video. It is what it is. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your thoughts are about Zilanin and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you haven't already, please do up a notification on public so you know when I'm live or making a video. And check out my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash qshifter. I'm live majority of the time compared to YouTube, but I do stream on YouTube as well. And check out my TikTok. I do post TikTok and YouTube shorts. So yeah, it's been your boy. Take care. Bye-bye.